Hello! So, very exciting. We have a new Outlaw Pass in Red Dead Redemption 2. Yes, this is Outlaw Pass number 5. I managed to get to rank 80. And here you can see some of the rewards. Now, a lot of it is kind of... Mm, I'm not sure about some of these cosmetics. This outfit that they give you, not gonna lie, it's kind of like a pimp outfit. I'm not loving it, but things I do like about it are the emotes. The emotes are pretty good. You get a lot of kind of um, ability cards, things like that, you know, um, the coupons, the rewards that they give you. You get gold back. If you do get this pass in the first week of it coming out, so it came out just this Tuesday, um, you have until next Tuesday and you will get an extra 10 gold back. Now it's definitely worth getting it for that. After that, I'm not too sure if this is actually worth getting. <laughs> There's no role that comes with it this time, this is the first time they've ever done this, they have not released a, a role or a role upgrade um, at all with this. I'm hoping it comes in the next part because this only goes up to rank 80 as you can see it there at the top. So I'm hoping when the rest of the um, levels come out then they will give us some sort of role upgrade, hopefully trader or something more exciting would be great. The things I do like are the ammo. Uh, you get uh, three ammo satchels of this, uh, so yeah, it's worth it for that, but yeah, some of the outfit things, the, the photo filters, not really interested in those. Um, yeah, not interested in those at all. The flags, okay, yeah, they're pretty cool, but I don't really ever look at them or bother with them. The outfit, the boots, the, come on, like, where are you ever going to see these in any western movie or anything? It's more like something from GTA. The things I am interested in, of course, are the horse cosmetics. We'll go and have a look at those in a second. But I'm uh, just going to have a quick look through these show you guys. There's um, some more like weapon wraps. That's cool. Don't mind that at all. Anything cosmetic, I don't mind. Uh, the belt buckles. Yeah, I like all the belt, belt buckles too. Um, there's emotes. Not, I don't really use emotes that often. Uh, you know, the outfit is absolutely dreadful. The Straw beard? No. <laughs> Not interested. I don't think I'll ever wear that unless it's just for the memes. Um, yeah, they collect the parcels for collectibles. They're pretty useful. Yep, sell them to Madame Nazar and get XP to help you level up the pass. A good way of leveling up the pass quickly is to, in between passes, collect coin sets, things like that, or any sort of collection sets, and then hand them in all at once to Madame Nazar and do trader runs and as much missions and things as you can just to get XP and you will level up pretty quick through it all. Um, so what else have we got here? More photographs, not interested. Um, yeah, it's the cosmetics that I'm really kind of into and they do have good cosmetics but I think they could do more. Um, there's a hat, not really into the hat. It's kind of weird, uh, it's got skulls on it, there's a lot of attention to detail, again I just think it's something that would be great in GTA and not in Red Dead because in that time period do you really think that they would be wearing something like that? No, they'd, they'd probably, you know, get chastised, get, get chased out of town. <laughs> uh, hunting parcel, great, yeah, interested in that, that's nice, and uh, ammo pouch upgrade for the repeater. Um, and then in the last few levels, oh yeah, the one good thing is the dog. I do believe I already have this dog though, unless it's a different colour. I believe this was in one of the other passes, but I do like my husky, so I will be keeping my husky. And one thing that I did like out of the outfits, there was a vest, it's not this one, but it is a, um, a black vest, which... Uh, I don't mind this jacket. This jacket looks quite cool. I probably will put this on my character. Um, yeah, this vest is the one that I kind of like. It looks good. I kind of like that one. And there's the the absolutely garish coat as well. So I'm going to head into the stables and talk through the horse cosmetics because to me that is the most interesting thing. <laughs> Okay, so we're at the stable. Um, one thing I did notice is that the new mains, they do clip the Missouri Fox Trotter's faces, so I won't be using my Missouri Fox Trotter as a model for these, which is weird because I think the mains actually do come from the Missouri Fox Trotter. Here I put one of them on my um, American paint. Uh, but yeah, I'm actually going to go into the menu and have a proper look. Um, who should we use as a model? Let's use Raven as a model. But she's pretty and I like her. Okay, um, appearance. So, 
I have got one of them on her as well, um, but we will look for them properly. So, Unkempt. Unkempt is the first one. Now, okay, I have a little bit of a gripe with some of these, and I will tell you exactly what the problem is. Do you notice that it kind of looks gelled down to the face? Yeah, there's no movement, and then when I go into these other ones, see there's movement, there's physics. Now, I think it's almost like they forgot the physics. <laughs> They've got to add in the physics for these new um, Horlocks. Um, they're just kind of stuck down to the face. There's definitely something wrong with that. I Hopefully they'll fix that because that is not how it's meant to be. The mane is meant to move and be flowy. So yeah, hopefully they fix that though. So let's go through the colours in Unkempt. We have black, a kind of beigey colour. And black and white. It looks really good. I like them. This would probably look good on a Cremello or a Polino. And then we have on the Two Sword one. Black, a kind of cream colour, grey, and black and white. So those are the mains, and then we can go to the tail. So there's only one tail, and it's one of the wild sort of collection, and it's this colour. This is the only new tail, and it is the kind of inverted colour from this one that we already had. I was hoping that we would get the kind of inverted black and white but we didn't. Hopefully that will come because this pass is only 80 levels. When we get the rest of them, the other 20 later on, I hope that we get the other colour of the black and white because that would look great and it would look good on some of the horses that I have, especially my um, Appaloosa. But I did pop this one on my um, on my Palomino, so yeah, kind of looks good on him. And then we have one more set, and that is the moustaches. Now, these are not something that I'm really that interested in, to be honest, but I will go through them. Pretty sure it's um, Handlebar, those are the new ones there. Very bushy. Uncle in Story actually has these um, on, has this on his horse, so that's where it comes from. Yeah, those are the old, yeah. It's hard to tell, they all kind of look the same, to be honest. I'm not a big fan of them. They're kind of funny for the memes, but not really my thing. Some of my horses have the cosmetics from pass number 5 on them, and some I'm using from pass number 4, and some are just completely standard. This horse, Rebel, he has, uh, from this pass, got the mane. Now, I did always have a problem with this horse before. Um, I didn't like how it came as standard. I wanted it in black, but from Outlaw pass number 4, it was always black and white and it kind of just looked odd on him so now I'm kind of happy and he's smiling <laughs> because it looks kind of good on him and I'm very happy about that. Dallas is going to be probably staying how he is, I like how that looks. Raven has a new mane, I went with that one on her. I do wish it, it moved more though. That's Raven. Uh, Tama, she's going to be yeah, keeping that one from the past number four. Dakota, now he's standard. He has got the standard. So maybe I'll put a new one on him. Maybe I will put the unkempt one on him. I think that might look good. Mind you, it won't move, but yeah, let's pop that on him. There we go. He has a new hairdo. And who else? Can we have a little look at, see if they need a little upgrade? Timo, ah, oh, Timo already has the new tail. I think that looks nice, with his Palomino colour, and he has the frayed mane from the pass number 4. Tokala has um, the tail that comes with the horse model, and then I changed her mane to one of the manes from Outlaw pass number 4. Senna, now Senna has the standard, I think I made it longer on the tail, and she has one of the new manes from the pass number 5. I think that really suits her. It's really nice on her because she's a small horse that um, the main that I was using from Outlaw Pass number 4 was kind of a bit too much on her I think. And Apache, well, you know, has the standard tail, gorgeous horse, probably one of my favourites. And I just changed his mane to one of the ones from Outlaw Pass number 4. So yeah, there's a lot of good things in this pass. There's ammo satchels, clothing items, emotes, um, horse cosmetics, gun cosmetics, and a dog. Um, yeah, it's not the best pass that's come out. I didn't think they could do any worse after the Halloween one. Uh, I was really hoping for a roll. But, you know, you beggars can't be choosers. And this will be what we get until they give us anything else. And, you know, we're just going to have to deal with it. And the only reason I got it 
was for the horse stuff. If there was no horse stuff in it, you know what, I probably would not have got it at all. So, there you go. Anyway, until next time, that's a little bit of a Red Dead update. And I will see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.